Hello again, Spidey San here. And let me tell you a story, N away from the books for a while. There was once another Spotty, and he once worked for a emperor from a faraway land. They were their task was, well, more like he was part of an army, part of a um, departing garrison. They were armed with crossbows and because they were ordered to rush to this location to the small town to clear out some undead because the necromancer has um, something went wrong in the town then as they do something with the undead and uh, dark magic and stuff so they sent a brigade or some kind of group <laughs> This soldier was was a bit of a crazy person, but he had some fear, but was brave enough to overcome these fears. So he was the first one to go in. Not the best shot, but able still aim under pressure. <laughs> It didn't take long for his group to follow. Soon they were all brave to overcome their fears and such against the undead. Then <laughs> pretty soon this another commander came in control, another officer from another brigade. And they were they had different equipment and their armor made they're from the same army, but Let's say somebody really liked this unit more than the crossbows. Still smell the gunpowder. Gunpowder everywhere, a lot of echoing. Hmm, you can still see the marching orders and firing line they had. Such order and such in a chaotic battle. Well, <laughs> not really chaotic, more like a hard to control situation. <laughs> And pretty soon, around that corner of the church, ah, <laughs> a little bit of a shock everybody went, but I believe everybody had their own problems and were able to handle the situation. <laughs> <laughs> soon we were nearing the end. It was just down the street, another path, another alley, 
The whole town was beginning to clear up all of this undead problem, but there were still some looking crannies here and there, but everybody was doing this situation. Search and destroy. <laughs> Seeking out every little little flesh. And little problems here and there. <laughs> Of course, and they started to follow me, and I don't know why they would follow somebody from a different garrison, but I don't know how I'm going to fit these people through the window, but somehow we did when the door was blocked. Ah, <laughs> oh, the cut through the glass. At least it was that we're wearing armor. I, we were wearing, they were. <laughs> But, after clearing the town of all the undead, there is still the matter of the corpses that everything was left both alive and dead. <laughs> I guess when something smells that bad, it, it kind of attracts bugs. And, no, I don't mean flies and, well, I guess flies can be included, but these bugs were freaking huge! <laughs> And slowly, slowly I thought it was the end. But soon there was more coming. There was so many. They just keep keep popping out it everywhere. They were freaking everywhere. came and everything just started disorganized and we were losing morale then you could aim it towards some friendly fire that went on in this battle and some shameful shameful things but we all had to keep fighting one way or another to stay alive <sighs> And pretty soon, I got word that whoever was leading the musket brigade was apparently taken by the bugs and eaten alive. Found the horrible scream, but 
There was no screams at all when I heard. Maybe it was another in the town or... Well, whatever he was, he was gone. The commander was gone in the midst of this battle. <laughs> Then pretty soon, there were new kind of bugs. There were bigger ones. I don't know how we managed to kill a few, but we did not get all of them. But in this battle, this body was rather got afraid as the numbers were dramatically decreasing, suffering huge casualty. Uh, again, there were so many bugs. <laughs> And that concludes to the story. This body that ran away from battle, and well, that was another spotty with him, but another brigade and dead, another witness. <laughs> uh, dead commander, they returned to their emperor. Well, not emperor, more like to the general who reports to the emperor. And we had these bodies had to wait for another. They got relocated to a new unit. And. Well, let's just say he got a promotion before long <laughs> until he was sent off to another paddle. <laughs>